Hi guys, my name is Kevin from Simova and today we'll go straight into release notes for DevOps to look at how to import changes for your tool and then in the end how to export the release notes itself in order to provide it to your customers or business partners who really want to know what has been done to your tool or software product. So for that, I'll jump straight into Azure DevOps and I'll go into the section release notes for DevOps. And here we'll, we'll just create a new one. So I'll click on create. And now my release note has been created and I'll jump straight into it. Of course, it's for now quite empty in here. So I'll import some changes. Here we have different types. And so you're not restricted to one certain type. You can really adapt it to the process of your choice and uh, adapt how and in what span you want to import your work items. So if that is by selecting a certain pipeline, for example, um, to really attach to it, to attach to a build and then select all those work items from that build. Or if you want to do something like use a pull request um, to which different work items have been added, then you can do that here. Also queries of course are possible, build your own query, import, it, import the work items of your choice and you are good to go. But what I'll do now is I'll select an iteration. So I have a scrum team, I'll select that scrum team and I'll pick their sprint one, for example, because we on our side, in our example, we do that based on different um, iterations in which one version really is completely created from scratch. And what happens here now is that all the change logs are added into my release note. And now we see on the right side immediately that a really professional looking release node has been created. To now export this release node, we also again have different options. So what I'll do here is I'll hit export and there are options like PDF, Markdown or HTML. So for PDF, of course, it's a simple showing your um, yeah, customers or business partners, this is a PDF, I can send it out, I can provide it somewhere as a download. And for Markdown and HTML, we have even more options like presenting this in a website or something like this, because we can push it to a repository of our own choice. And this repository will then lead to you being able to attach to it with your website, push it to your website however you want to work with it in the end. The first thing I want to show you is a simple download. It's pretty basic. I go to browser download here and this will present it as a PDF, which I can print, uh, put to my desktop, whatever I want to do. But internally, we prefer at, at Simova selecting Markdown and then pushing this to a certain repository because from that repository, we can then use it to automatically present it on our website and either in a markdown way or in an HTML way. Within this video, I've now shown you that it's really easy to import the changes of your choice in whatever way you want within to your release node and then also how to export these in order to present it to your customers. And furthermore, you can completely automize that process because what we internally also do is we have a piece of code, we put it into our pipeline and then it pushes a markdown file or an HTML file if you want it to a certain repository. And this is completely automated. And we also provide the information within our tool on how you can do this yourselves. So that in the end you have a fully automated and streamlined process to present any type of change to all of your customers and business partners. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you were able to get some value out of this for your own release note creation. 
simply go down to the comments if you have any questions, leave a like, and also feel free to check out our other videos regarding the release note creation.